Good afternoon, beloved Master Tanaka. Good afternoon. Good afternoon to all of you who are here. Good afternoon. I am Sanat Kumara. I come with great joy through your call. I was waiting for you. I do come here to bring a message to everyone, to all of you who follow this group that is striving to bring a new path, a new way forward for all humanity, a new vision of how everyone's life should be, a vision different from what you are used to having in your lives. Everyone today has become accustomed to living in a trivial way, I will say this way, to a way that is totally disconnected from their own energy. For it is already a fact that this ignorance of energy is present in all beings. This has become a habit, a very harmful habit, a habit that causes you to get lost in the midst of your difficulties, to get lost in the midst of so many badly set goals. Through this work that is being done here in this house, we see that a new direction is being brought about. The importance of love, the importance of respect, is being revived in the memory of all beings. The importance of respect for others is being revived in everyone's memory. We are always told through your religions to love one another, but it is not a practice that is carried out in your day-to-day -day life. In your day-to-day -day life, what you see is a total forgetfulness of this love of neighbor. And what we bring through our messages is an awareness that this practice must come back. This practice must always be present in all of your lives. All of you are a single being. You are all children of God. You are all in truth one energy. But when you act in this way, you totally fragment the energy of God. And each one covers his own fragment as an illusion. And so, you all go on to live distorted lives lives that are totally disconnected and many times you spend incarnations and incarnations without accomplishing anything at all and through a direction that we are bringing through these messages is for everyone to get back together again to recognize their own energy to recognize that each being is a creator in their own life that each being is responsible for everything that happens in their life. And as you are responsible for your lives, you become responsible for all the energy that makes up your life. And look, the energy it is expansive. The energy, it doesn't just encompass yourself. The energy, it encompasses everyone, all the beings that are around you. All the beings that are connected to your energy. All the beings that inhabit the planet. All the beings in the universe. All the beings in all the universes. You are connected to each other. As you come to recognize the energy of God, again, you come to recognize this connection that you have with each other. And see... This connection, it is only maintained through the energy of love, through respect. That is why for you who want to recognize yourselves as children of God, to recognize yourselves as being God, it is necessary that you change this habit. It is necessary that you respect yourselves again. Respect must be mutual. The respect, it must never be forgotten. For this connection to become permanent in your lives, respect is paramount. And these connections make you regain your power, make you recognize your power again. Because from the moment you make these connections, you become more lucid beings, more responsible beings for what you are causing in the world in which you live. Because even though everyone is responsible for what they create in their own life, you are also responsible 
for the energy that you emanate into the lives of other beings. You are responsible for this. So, this energetic emanation, this energetic transference that you make between yourselves, it must be based on respect. Only then you will be able to walk as a unit. Only then you will see peace again right here on planet Earth. Peace is an energy that needs, so to speak, a favorable environment. Peace only remains when it is received with an open heart. Let's put it in this language for you. And peace begins in your being. Only when you are peace, you can emanate peace. Only when you are peace, you can receive peace. It's very simple. There is no way you can receive peace if you are a divergent energy to it. That is why we say that peace begins in each being. Only then can peace remain on this planet. Only then can peace remain among who are incarnated here on planet Earth. When each being recognizes itself as peace. But from the moment you recognize yourself as peace, you begin to change your way of being. If before you acted in a way in which you had no responsibility for your energy transference, from the moment that you assume that you are peace, your energy transference can only be of peace. What you see, for this to happen, it depends on you. For this to become real in your world depends only on you. It depends on the way you think, the way you feel, the way you act. These are the parameters you have to base yourselves on if you are acting as peace. Through these indicators, you will know if you are acting as peace. This is why the masters who have been here before bring in your messages. They tell you that your change is visible, that you have parameters as indicators as to whether you are on the path you wish to be on. If the path you wish to walk and your way of being are divergent, you can be sure that there will be no materialization of what you are wishing for. For there to be a fulfillment, your desire, your thinking, your feeling, your way of acting, they must go together. They must be in resonance. You yourselves have already had the knowledge that there is only effectiveness when all your energy is in harmony. There is no way you can have an effectiveness if your energy is totally dissonant. So, through this message, what are we from the spiritual plane pointing out to you? A new way of behaving, a new way of seeing all the beings around you, a new way of acting towards yourself. The change you make is always towards yourself. It is each being who must recognize the change. Do not wait for other people to come and show you the change that must be made. Each being, if he really allows himself, knows which change he must make within himself. Because each being has within himself his own determination. The determination cannot be given by us from the spiritual plane to you. The determination must come from you to the all. Because from the moment that determination comes from you, as you say here, everything conspires in your favor. Because this is your energetic movement and energy, it never remains stagnant. Energy is always in motion, always. That is why your energetic shift expands and reaches out into all space. That's why your energetic shift, it is, I would say, important. It is a basis for change for all humanity. So, I ask all of you to be aware of the value of your own change. Always be aware of your own value and make this change. This change effective in your life. It will be an act that benefits the whole. Through this energetic shift to divine truth, 
you will cause this energy of truth to expand. So be conscious. Be conscious of all your acts. Be conscious of all your thoughts. Be conscious of all your feelings and take responsibility for your own life and bring this effectiveness to completion. I ask you all to follow our guidelines and we here on the spiritual plane are always open, always present, whenever we are asked. Be certain of this. With much love, with much respect, I say goodbye. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.